George Bernard Shaw once said, people who say it cannot be done should not interrupt those who are doing it. There are things that at the point of conceiving, the mind cannot relate to them. There are things that when your creativity imagines them, your head will not be able to wrap itself around them because they seem impossible based on existing logic. Your head tells you it's not realistic and it's not practical. But you know what? It is those things that have produced great people. If you're always willing to do what's easy, your life will be routine. But if you decide to do what is considered by most impossible, then your life will be an adventure. People that have their names written in the sands of time are uncommon people with uncommon visions. Through television and telephony, we will see and hear one another as perfectly as though we were face to face, despite intervening distances of thousands of miles. And the instruments through which we shall be able to do this will be amazingly simple compared to our present telephone. A man will be able to carry one in the pocket of his vest. Nikola Tesla, 1926. In 1926, as Nikola Tesla predicted the advent of the 2006 smartphone, no one would have thought that given the limited 3D world of the time, what he said could have been possible. Tesla relied on his creativity, intuition, and introspection. Now here we are. There is a large chance you're watching this video on your smartphone device. Or perhaps you're watching this video on your personal computer, one that was first invented in 1936 by Alan Turing. He believed that a theoretical machine could solve any problem that could be described by simple instructions encoded on a paper tape. This made no sense in the mind of many, but here we are. Alan Turing further believed that someday computers would become so powerful that they would think. As far back as 1950, this seemed absurd. Today, although Turing's vision of AI has not yet been achieved, aspects of AI are increasingly entering our daily lives. Google search algorithms use AI iPhones, Apple, Siri can understand your voice and respond intelligently. Car manufacturers are developing cars that drive themselves. One person's madness, or better put, dream and epiphany, is another world-changing event. In 1884, when Nikola Tesla arrived in the United States with nothing more than his clothes on him and a letter of introduction to the famed business tycoon and inventor Thomas Edison, he had a dream. A dream to change the world with his crazy, unusual ideas. Thomas Edison was the first person to give him that opportunity, but it was not long before the two had a falling out due to conflicting ideas. While Edison believed in direct current being the better form of transmission of electricity, Tesla worked on alternating current, believing it was safer and more efficient. Edison went on to dispel Tesla's AC system of electric power transmission, calling it impractical, instead promoting his simpler yet less efficient DC system. Eventually, Tesla's AC systems caught the attention of businessman and American engineer George Westinghouse, who wished to supply the nation with long-distance electricity. They began working together, and in no time, Tesla's AC system began gaining wide publicity, and as the public interest in AC power grew, the duo of Westinghouse and Tesla grew into direct competition with Edison's DC power. Edison was prompted to start a negative publicity of the AC power. Still, regardless of Edison's negative press campaign, in an attempt to undermine the world's interest in AC power, Tesla continued his work. Soon enough, the AC power was chosen to supply the lighting at the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, as against Edison's DC power. Tesla conducted demonstrations of his AC system there, and two years later, Tesla designed, at Niagara Falls, one of the first AC hydroelectric power plants in the United States. Today, the alternating current system is the leading power system of the 20th century and remained the worldwide standard since then. Why is this story significant? How does it apply to you? I'll tell you how. 
It all started with an audacity to dream and to go forward with it regardless of how impractical, no matter how absurd and no matter how impossible it may seem. It won't always be easy, but hey, not much good comes from what's easy. Difficulties come to make you strong, but that's only when you make a decision to go on and you stand by it. Stand by it and on your journey help others. Ease the burden of others when it is in your power to do so. Life will throw stones at you. It will get hard sometimes when you're chasing your dreams because of the world we have created. But if you stay strong and keep going, then you're going to get to a point where you'll find out that it was worth it. There's a common saying that when life throws lemons at you, you should make lemonade from it. When in the face of adversity and ridicule, you still show what you are made of, you will attract the right set of people into your life. So don't give in and throw in the towel. Despite all the campaigns against Tesla, he stayed true to his dream. He put on his headphones and shut out the criticism of the world and just focused on what he knew was his dream and he did it. Your dream is valid and it is achievable if you just believe and keep going at it. And how do you make your dreams come true? 1. First, you must dream it. Everything starts in the mind and in the heart. Every great achievement began with a thought in the mind and with a heart that believed and went through with it against all odds. Dare to dream. Dream the impossible. And when you dream, don't just think about yourself. Think of your family, think of your friends, and think about how your dreams will change everyone around you for the good or for the bad. 2. Now you have to believe in your dream. Dream big and believe in your dream. It needs to be something that looks beyond your present capabilities. It was Ellen Johnson Sirleaf who said, The size of your dreams must always exceed your current capacity to achieve them. If your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. 3. Next, you have to envision it. The biggest achievers have always been those who have been able to visualize what their lives would be like when they achieve their dreams. And maybe finding a cure to cancer and standing on a podium talking about your path to its discovery. It may be sitting with world leaders, whatever it is, just paint a mental picture of what it would look like. 4. What's next is you have to make a plan. No dream comes true without a plan and a way to execute the plan. A dream that remains in your head will be nothing but an unfulfilled dream. Every dream must change into the form of a plan. Think about the detail and on a regular basis sit down and strategize. You don't have to have the whole picture of how you will achieve it. As Mark Zuckerberg said, ideas do not come out fully formed. They begin to come clear as you work on them. You just have to begin working on your dreams and you'll figure it out as you go. 5. And now the most essential step is that you work on your dreams every day. Every day and never give up on it. The successful people are most times the hardest workers. How many people do you know that get out of bed aimlessly and succeed at an extraordinary level? Exactly, they don't exist. Work hard and never ever quit. You are unstoppable if you believe. So live your life with passion and drive. Decide you have to push yourself. 6. And finally, you have to enjoy what you do. Find what you love. The only way to be truly satisfied is to love what you do as you chase your dreams. In the words of Steve Jobs, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Today, Nikola Tesla is known as a futurist. As he saw way ahead of his peers, he dreamed big. His dream led him to have over 300 patents worldwide and his name written in the sands of time. What are your dreams? Listen, don't ever let another person tell you that your dreams are not valid, that it is impossible. They told Tesla he was going to fail. Today, you're using his inventions on your phones, your computers, your appliances. He changed the world with his dreams and ideas. 
What are your dreams? Whatever they are, it is possible.